Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner, I'm MJ Haggis, we're in Paradise Valley and we're going to go and get some hay bales. That's the plan for hay harvesting, the contract up there on the right. So we need to go and pick up five hay bales. We're going to use the crane and not the recommended manipulator, as it suggests. It, this should work, I'm hopeful. It has, ha has worked in the past, but we're going to use the JBE Royal BM17 here. Now, update time... The tractor that was down here, the Caravettes, I have got it back to the garage because we're going to sell it because I do have to do another field and I'm going to try a mod one. Hopefully it'll be a, a good bit better than the vanilla, which is just awful. Anyway, so that's that. So that's back in the garage and we're going to pick up this trailer down here that we dumped uh, when it was on the back of the dairy special, I think it was. It's close to the junction anyway for going back to the fields. So that's quite handy. Now, we're going to double up this contract. We've got the five hay bales, fits nicely into the trailer, but we're also going to try, well, we are going to do the potatoes, the tatties. We're going to pick up two, so it's a bit of double stacking for one lot because we're all kind of ending up down here. There's the potatoes, the tatties as I call them, and the hay bales are coming down to this one here. So we're going to try and just do all in one trip, get it out of the way. That will just leave the annual harvest, the last one to do. Yuck. Anyway, right, that's where we're at. That's you up to date. Let's get on the move. This is the only truck I had actually in the garage that had the low saddle and the crane there that will fit underneath the six slot trailer. Now, yeah, I could have used the big juggernaut there, but it's just, it's, it's, I think it's overkill. And I think just the JBE Royal BM will be more than sufficient. And it's nice to get back into slightly less overkill trucks for this. I mean, it is still overly powered. But certainly nothing like the Juggernaut. So there'll be an element of risk involved with using this one. Now, the tractor Caravette side of things... I went back through my mods that I've used in the past and I still have links to them in the description if it's of any use to you guys. Uh, one was a Z2 or Z2, however you use that pronunciation, vintage tractor. And there was also a trike one, which is way, way overpowered. But it's, you've got to get the implements from the trailer store as well. And uh, it spreads out much wider. It's like three times the width of the standard trailers, the add-ons like the harvester and cultivator and stuff. So if you hate farming, then there is ways around it. This mod one that I've got, the JTT, I'll add it to my mod in the description below. It's, it is not OP too much, it's just better. Better turning circles, better suspension. I think possibly better gearbox. Well, I haven't bought it, I've only downloaded it, so we'll have a look at it, we'll give it a go. And if it turns out to be not quite as good as we would hope, then like I say, you've got the, the Z2 stuff, which is way overpowered for what they are. But it says that in the description, you can go from virtually vanilla to OP with the options available, which is quite nice, so you don't have to go crazy. I'm just, I'll be glad to get the farming out of there, that's all. I'm not going to worry about fuel. This thing's not too bad. Whoop. And we've got into this total fishtail speed wobble. Yeah, there's a the trailer, excellent. should go underneath quite nicely. 
It's close. Oh, it is close, isn't it? Has this got the suspensions down? Oh, I don't have an option. Go on, get under. There it goes. Little bit of persuasion. Uh, did I see a winch? No, I didn't. I thought I'd put the winch there. I saw an X. Right, uh, let's go. Uh, do we grab now? I need to think uh, for double stacking, what would be best? I could probably put the ties one on top of the other because they are fairly flat and low. And we'll just put all the hay bales along the trailer as normal. I really hope this crane works. It's going to make our lives so, so much easier than using any tractor manipulator. I was going to say, where are the bales? There they are, there. They're hidden by the yellow signs. This field's not too muddy. Oh no, it's fine. Good. I don't think I bother with the anchors. Let's just go for the crane. And look, there's the winch points. Happy days. Up we get. Ideally, I want these to go as far back as possible to save me detaching the trailer in the field. Try and get them to be sh like positioned this way so they might roll down the trailer. Try and release and close the crane down and let's move forwards. There it goes. What a good bail. I really want that to go to the very back. Oh, I want to go forwards and zoom, zoom, zoom. That's almost good. Right, next one. Should be there, driven right up past it, saving it. Moving the crane quite so much. Again, get him positioned straight down the trailer and down. Let a crane mode and let's get ready to go. Go on. Where's this next one? There it is. Hoping to go all the way to the very back, but they're not. Might be able to push it with the crane once I get this one on, maybe. We'll get him turned and in. Come on, don't go down that way. Like so. We'll give it a wee nudge now, see if we can get them to push back. I don't know if the crane will go that low, that's the only thing, maybe. Oh yeah, well, good. Give it a wee nudge. Go on. That's as far as the crane goes. Okay, we've got two more, so that might work. It's that last one there might catch on that bolster, which is going to be the only problem. Right, crane mode gone. Get out of that mud. Look at it, it's disgusting. Got it nice and wide, ready for turning back onto the last one.
Ooh, uh, stop. Boing. And down you go. Oh, don't play. Don't play. Come on, in you go. Nice and square. Give that. That might work. Come on, let go. Not the best positioning of the trailer for pushing bales back though, but it should still go. Oh yeah. Up. And close the crane. Let's go find our last one. Then we'll go and nip over there and grab our patties. Green mode. Cool. And one last wee nudge, I think, just to be sure. Don't push it out, though. Right, that's as far back as it goes. Let's hope they pack and leave the space for the tatties at the front. And so, restore the crane. That'll do me. Perfect. Whoa, okay, we found some grip there. I'm going to cut across the field, I think. Ooh. Take out every fence on our way. Oh, look, it's not part of the field. It looks as if it's cultivated. How strange. I never did that. I need to be close enough for the loading platform. That'll do, I think. Cargo management. One in the trailer. And one on the platform. There we go. Hopefully this will sit nicely. It should do with the, the bolsters there. I actually thought they were slightly less rounded at the top there. Never mind. Is that going to sit there okay? Maybe a little bit further over this way. I'm not really liking that. Right, you sit there, perhaps. That's a bit better. Okay, train away. And, okay, it's, it's kind of in the bolsters on either side, but it could slide forward nastily. That's a lot of tatties. Right, okay, uh, which way are we going? Hey, uh, we've got to go to the, the bit where it's showing the gold, so easiest way to that is probably down to the main road again. Then we could Yeah, what is the easiest way? Down over this bridge and across here? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So down to there, across the bridge, down to that one, you can cut down there, then cut across, up to that one, into the docks, through there, and then we've got the hay bales here. So we're going to come straight through. Up to the main road again. Cross there. 
And then to get into there, we have to go all the way around to that one. Into there. Into there. And then I think the final one was it down here. Quickly bring it up. That's a hay harvesting. It's the patties. Yeah, it's down there. So final one back out to there. Okay, that's fairly straight-ish. Right, let's go over there. Hardest bit is going to keep those ties in the trailer, but we've got the crane, so it's no biggie if they decide to land on the ground. We'll need to get a wash anyway, you know. Wash our ties before you eat them. Turn them into chips. Or fries if you want to be American styly. Chips in the UK. Good. This corner is going to be quite nasty though. Get that def on. Try and get around this. Keep level. Whoa, there they go, there they go. Oh, did I save it? Did I say no? Okay, I'm giving them a wash. <laughs> they're not covered in mud, they're just getting a wash. That didn't last long. Look at it. That is a, such a bad area. Right, okay. I'm kind of level there. Anchors this time. Pesky ties. Come here. It'd be easier just to keep him attached to the winch, but I'd rather just drop him on the trailer. I didn't think they were going to stay there, though. Let's give that a go, maybe. Just slide across a little bit. Oh, look, they're trying to escape. The, the, the winch is loose, but they're trying to fall out. Okay. Don't you dare. Right, slow. Slow and steady. Fall out, don't fall out, don't fall out. <sighs> oh no, they're gonna go again. <sighs> right, I'm just gonna have to kind of try and be soft on the accelerator, which is almost impossible when you're using a keyboard. There we go. Right, let's go. As long as it's level, we'll be, I think, okay, no emergency braking. And I'm actually going to just stop for fuel here. No emergency braking, nice and easy on the brakes, there we go. Pop it up for 472, okay. Whoa, they are wibbly wobbly. Cross our Banyan Bridge. I thought the pallets of patties were much more like the cement. And fairly easy to double stack, but no. And again, nice and easy here. Ooh. I strongly suspect we're going to lose them again at some point. One wrong boulder to go over and it's and they're out. Ooh. Not helped by this trailer, which does tend to lean over quite easily. Uh, I'm going that way now. Once we've got the hay bales away, though, we'll be fine. We can just pack them up. Don't go off there, though. 
a bit close. Oh, stay there, stay there. Okay, that's not bad. I will be able to pack them up when we're talking about pack them up as soon as we get rid of this first one. This is the tie, so let's I change my contract back to the correct one. Ah, he's accept. I could have played. Uh, could I have got her away without doing that? I. Oh, that's not. Yeah, I would have never managed to drop them off there, considering this is where they want dropped them off. For this guy here. Ah, uh, patty shop, maybe get some fries or something in there. Anyway, let's get rid of them. Bye bye. And we can pack them in now. Unpack and pack. Yeah, now we've no more worries. Let's go. That definitely saves an extra trip. Right, what's mud coming through? Driving without any care now. Hit to the floor. This JBE Royal BM. Just so good. Where are we going now? All the way around the road, okay. Got to go all the way around, that's right, and back on yourself to get into that little hay wheels warehouse. And no problems in here, this road's quite decent. Gotta swing a very hard left in here. Go on, look at that. Good job, Royal BM. Right, okay, I think. Is it? Oh, this is the hay bills, right? Change of contract. A harvesting track. Cargo manager, there we go. Oh no, is that the right place? Yeah, it is. Do I want to do cargo management now? Drop it off. Is it this one? Yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. So that was hay harvesting, nice and easy. 
definitely well worth using the crane as opposed to the manipulator, as I said before. It says, great job, not everyone can cope with such a difficult task from the first time. Here's your reward, as agreed. 6,000 cash, 850 XP. Thank you very much. And all we've got now is the last load of ties. Now, I don't think we've got an awful lot of room to get a truck and trailer in and out of this place, but... We're about to find out, because the other... Uh, yeah, I think it'll have to be loaded. You can't just drop them into the zone, so it needs to be packed. I guess we're going in... ...with this trailer. He's still not caught any fish out there. What you doing out there? There we go. Easy peasy. And another promotion. That's nice. So that's 16. Yes. So I was ordering potatoes from residents. Great. In the future, it will, be, it will still be possible to plough the field and harvest. Orders come in often, so don't miss the moment. Good luck. So 4,800 cash for that and 270 XP. Great. So let's just back it out of here. Could have possibly got turned up there actually, but never mind. The rules fairly decent for reversing. Quick steering makes it much easier. Mainly this trailer that's hard because of it deciding to get stuck in wheel tracks and just not go where you think it's going to go. I'm going to put it into the trees up there actually. You turn, go. Going to go in. Yeah, no problem. And we're straight out. Okay. That leaves us with, let's stop there, engine off. The last annual harvest, which is the unlimited one. That's the one we'll do with the mod tractor, but I'm not going to do it just now. This one's going to be a short episode. Like I said in the last one, I'm going to have to do a few short ones to double them up. So I've got content when I'm not here. Um, yeah, that's fine. One left of that. Hard worker, we've, uh, we've got a few left to go there. That's a cheeky little six. And elite driver, one, which is a goal. That's the one we'll finish up on. But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the lack of farming in this one. Um, it is what it is. It's a necessary evil when that's what your contracts are. But thank you so much for watching. You'll see me again soon. Bye for now.